Hello, Matthew Taming here. Welcome to another video tutorial for JT Store Joomla e-commerce shopping cart. In this lesson, I want to show you something really, really cool, and that is the app feature. So on your dashboard, you click on apps, and it's going to show you the applications that you currently have. And if you want to get more apps, you click on get apps. This is going to redirect you to the marketplace. The marketplace is a great place for you to get apps, payment plugins, shipping reports, modules, plugins, and things to enhance your website. Now, by default, j Store has a ton of great features that come with it, but there are additional features that are not part of it. So if you want to do an add-on, uh, then you can definitely do that. Let's take a look at some of the apps that they have. You have points and rewards. So if you want to add a, a reward system where when someone generates a certain number of points, they get rewarded for that. Maybe they get a certain percent off or they get free products. You can do that. You have booking and reservation. You have uh, partial payments. You have stamps. You have QuickBooks. You can integrate QuickBooks with your store, which is really, really incredible. And you have subscriptions and membership. So if you want to build a membership website, this extension here is really, really great. You grab that app and you're going to integrate it on there. I'm going to show you later on how to you know, download the app and integrate it on the site. But I wanted to give you an overview of what the app's marketplace looks like. So you have Virtual Mart. You can integrate Virtual Mart migration there. You have Advanced Variables. You have Mission Shop, which is another shopping cart integration. Uh, you have Additional Fee, if you want to charge a fee for something. So let's take a look here at the payment plugins. There's so many payment options available now that you can come to this uh, the marketplace and choose one that you're using. So if you're using Stripe, which is great, Square, or the, the popular PayPal, you have PayPal uh, Basic, you have PayPal Plus, you have PayPal Pro, or Authorize.net. So you have different options here if you want to accept payments online. Uh, of course, you have to get that connected with your merchant account, uh, with your bank, and then you can use this extension share to integrate the, the payment system for it but they have a ton of different options here that you can choose from and you can also choose based on your country so if, if you're from a specific country and you want to see what works for that country you you click here and they're going to have something that works specifically for that country let's take a look at the shipping plugins the shipping plugin make it a lot easier for you to uh, automate your shipping with UPS, the USPS, FedEx, DHL, and other shipping providers. So once you get the plugin integrated on your website, they're going to be speaking together. So anytime that a new order comes in, you know, instead of having to go to the UPS or FedEx or the post office to on the back end type things there, it's going to let them know that this is what happened, this needs to get shipped out, and you have to take it there. And so it makes the automation process a lot easier um, for you to manage. Now let's take a look at reporting. Reporting is another great thing on your site. You have here the download, the download content. This lets you know how many times an item has been downloaded. So if you have a, a DVD or a software that people have to download, then you can get this here as free. And it shows you how many times it's been downloaded. And then you have to abandon cart and you have to report details. So the abandoned cards, that's really great because sometimes you have people come to your website and they get to the part where they're supposed to check out and they abandon the cart. Well, you can find out how often that happens, why it's happening, so you can uh, work on that. And then you have the modules. Modules are, are all the extensions you can be able to integrate in your website. It's gonna be a different module positions of your site. And when we get to the section of the lesson where you start learning about module positions, this is going to make a whole lot more sense. But you have module position product categories, related products. Uh, you have product display and different things. Lex, next, let's take a look at the affiliates. They currently have three affiliate uh, plugins you can be able to integrate on your site now. Uh, one of the ones that I use is iDev Affiliate. You can integrate it with your website. Of course, once you've set that up with iDev Affiliate, then there's a piece of code that you get the tool to interact. And then you have Affiliate Tracker, which is primarily Joomla's uh, affiliate. And you have Share of Sales Affiliate, which is another popular option that you can be able to utilize. So if you have an affiliate program, you can integrate this directly on your shop and it's going to work flawlessly. Templates are really great. I love templates. I love designing them. I build templates from scratch and it gives me a lot of flexibility. But sometimes when you're creating a template uh, from scratch, it takes a little bit longer. With these here, you can purchase these pre-made templates and you just have to customize it. So if there's a, a certain style you're going for, a certain look, you can buy one of these templates 
and customize it with uh, whatever information you want. You can change the colors, you can change pretty much anything on there. But the reason why you buy a template sometimes, not only is it cost effective, but it saves you a lot of time. Uh, all you have to do is just replace the information on the template with your own, change the product names, the images, and things like that with your own. And they also have free templates, and their free templates are pretty clean. You know, one thing about having an e-commerce store is you want something that's clean, responsive, and easy to access. They have some really, really awesome templates, so that's free. So if you're not ready to purchase some of these, so you can get the free ones and then eventually add, uh, upgrade to the, the other ones. So let's take a look at integrations. Integrations allow you to integrate uh, j 2 Store with another extension like SP Page Builder, which is tremendous. And you have K2, you have Fabrique, you have uh, Flexi, DJ Card, DJ Review, DJ Catalog, uh, SC Blog, Selby. And you're going to find out that there are times when you want to integrate your e commerce store with, let's say, something like SP Page Builder, which is uh, an extension that allows you to create drag and drop website. And it makes the process a whole lot easier. Trust me, I know. So next, you want to take a look at some of the general plugins. And these are just OS Map J2 Store plugin and the European VAT uh, plugin that you can grab to integrate on your website. And those are free as well. So we've come to the end of the marketplace. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube, like on Facebook, follow on Instagram and Twitter. Because anytime that a new video like this one is being released, you're going to be the first person to get it so you can get immediate access to it and, and start watching it.